up, troops? Welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And we're back with some more science today. What I'm going to do, I want to try Power Base Penny again in the Ride the Lightning. Now, those of you who saw before saw us fail. But I think there's a reason why we actually failed. I think it's because we actually put too many damaging traps up. So when the, Hus when the Husks were actually dead and dying in our tunnels, what actually meant is they were respawning and we were getting bigger and tougher, mo and tougher Husks coming through. Now, I watched the David Dean defense, which was really, really fun to watch. And all he was doing was actually pushing the Husks back rather than actually killing them. And I think that is actually the future and the way forward. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to do take two, like I promised. And we are actually going to see if we can get through. Now, the build's pretty much the same. So we've got power modulation. We've got shake it off. We've got lofty architecture on there as well. So that increases the building health. Frozen castle. So we get the people that are actually hit by this are affected by snare. Hot fix. So we've actually got the auto repair. Tough traps. So trap durability by 17.5% base MD on there as well so that means the allies standing on the structure ergo us because we're going to solo this affected by the base heal for 3.75 health and I'm going to take adrenaline rush and the banner with me at the same time so I'm going to do a quick build on this and see if we can survive and we can actually finish this ride the lightning PL 100 stay tuned All right then guys, well let me take you through part two. This is version two, base version two. It's crazy overbuild again, but it's for science. Sometimes you've got to use your mats up in the name of science. So this is the first area that they can come from. So they can come from the south, and what happens is they actually go down this way. They're gonna go through here, and what's gonna happen is they're gonna come in here. Now they're either gonna get pushed into this wall. I don't really wanna kill them if I can help it. Then they're gonna go up over the top. And when they go up over the top, they're gonna to land here. So I'm just gonna over there. And here they're going to get frozen by this and potentially pushed off the edge. Now here, same again, just pushed off the edge, nice and simple. If they get down here, now because I've got these up on the top, what will actually happen is they'll actually get flung over and they'll land at the other side. So if I just go back a little bit. So what will actually happen is they're going to hit this little launcher here, hit this, land here, and then get pushed off the side. Now the base is in a little bit of a better position this time. So the base is there, look, just in the corner. Nice and safe and snug. Now I'm gonna put the banner, if I can, inside. Do you know, cause the little doors here, look. I mean, I could even put the banner right here, couldn't I, I guess. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Maybe I could put the banner like there. And let's have a look, see if I can get the banner inside. Oh, awesome, even better. So we can actually use the banner inside. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you the other side then. Then we're pretty much done. Don't think many will come from that way, but if they do, this is going to be my most vulnerable spot because this is where I think the smashers are probably going to try and get through from. So they're going to kind of amble the way this way uh, and through this wall. So this is, this is a, you know, potentially a smash-free wall. But let's just watch this guy. Look what happens. There you go. So we're just going to go down there. Not dead. I mean, it'll die on this version because, you know, the wandering husks. But I think ultimately it should be absolutely fine. So we're just pushing them back and just trying to survive a little bit longer. Come on, come on, come on. And there he goes. <laughs> and there's no real way out for them down there. Now this could work, it might not. I'm gonna keep putting it up there. Just like last time guys, don't forget, put your comments down below if you think there's any improvements. A lot of this base is done by you. Do you know what, uh, I'm taking notes and advice from you guys on the last one. So let's try it again. Now I'll just show you this side really quickly. That's the base here, look. This side should be pretty simple, so they're going to walk through here, and I've just got push traps into oblivion. I don't really want them to, uh, I don't really want them to die. They're going to be on this wall because that's like a main wall. So, I mean, maybe I don't want them to actually, uh, to actually die, but maybe that's going to be a floor of this one. I don't know. I'm going to post this anyway, just like we did the last one. If it, if it, <laughs> if it fails, it's going up anyway. So let's just go around, let's get in and let's get it started. Whew, all right, here we go. Objective start, here we go. So number two, so we're off. We're defending it. Okay, so I'm just keeping an eye on the minimap. So we've got to do three minutes first. So all we've got to do is make sure that they don't get anywhere near. I mean, you can build a lot simpler than this. I saw David Dean do a much simpler build and it was just literally pushing them back and waiting it out. But this is more fun, making it bigger, you know, doing a bit of an overbuild. I just want to see if this works as well. Plus, it'll make you look better in front of your friends. <laughs> All right, here we are. So here's the first lot. So if you look at the strength on that wall then, look, so it's already healed itself back up and it's pushed them away. Okay, so we're on there. Just go down pretty quick. I know with the mega base, I saw a Team Vash build. You could actually get this base up to, the walls up to about 10,000. 
which could be an even better build potentially. The good thing about this hero is she heals the walls as well. Coupled up with Hotfixer, you've got a really good hero here. Oh, I can hear a smasher. Where's he going to come through? How cool does that silhouette look? Oh, here he is. Is he just going to charge? Has he got a free charge? I don't think he has. I'm trying to get that silhouette back. That looks awesome. Okay, all of the walls seem absolutely fine. I mean, there's nothing here so far. We've got 1 minute 41. It's just... <laughs> you can just kind of hear it like working like clockwork. Usually when I say things like that, that's usually when it goes wrong. What walls are getting beat on right now? Absolutely none. Have they even hit any walls? I don't think anything's got near the base. This is a PL100 as well. But nothing has even got near the base yet. This wall's taken most damage. Which we expected, look. But they're not even... <laughs> but they're not even close to getting through it. Just don't bump that up there. But the base, as I said, will just refresh this all the time. So we're pretty much sat inside. Just watching the world go by. Do you know what's worse? I have got no metal left to upgrade. Maybe I should have bought that before I started. So if these walls go down, they're getting replaced um, with brick. Because <laughs> that is all we've got left. Maybe I can scrap Lars's van. <laughs> Get some metal that way. But to be honest, the walls are holding up. That smash has been trying to get all the time. He's trying to beat our way through up there by the look of it. But these are fine. We've got 30 seconds left to wait. Nothing's really got anywhere near the base just yet. So we've got 30 seconds left. And then we'll go out and do a quick damage report. I think pretty much... I think everything's intact. I don't think there's any... Any particularly bad areas. Oh... <laughs> Did you see that charge there? So there he is, look. I can't even... Oh, I can repair it. I've got enough to repair. I had enough for one repair. <laughs> I think he's gone off the edge. I think he's gone. There you go. So that's the first part of it done. Really, really simple. So let's go out and have a look at the damage then. You still hear the traps like clunking away. This is fine. I mean, nothing really got through. It was up here, wasn't it? I wonder if it was beating on this. Oh, it was here, look. So I think he was actually hitting on this wall down here. When we could see him through the wall up there. And we'll have pushed the smasher. Ah, oh, we'll have been pushing him back, you see. So, so easy. So he's most likely... Oh, look. Okay, so that was a problem. Okay, we'll have to make remake this one out of brick, I think. I'm kind of glad that went down because I don't want the wall dots there. I put those on by accident. But what it'll... Because that'll actually mean that some of the husks will die, which I don't actually want. So this is fine. You know, having another push trap there. So... Yeah, that'll work. That'll actually work for me. Okay, then, guys. So, take two. I've only got 100. I've got 100 metal. I just went out and got a few more just so that we can add, like, repairs to the walls if we need them. But I don't know if we will need them. Now, I'm going to upload this regardless. So, even if we fail, this is still going up. <laughs> so, even if we lose, this is still going on today. So, fingers crossed. Okay, so where's the bulk of the attack? I mean, the last time it was this wall, like, these two walls. I think this is where we're weakest. Something coming through this side. Okay. All oh, right. It's still it's still lobbers this time. So yeah, last time a lot of you guys on the vid were saying like you know do a lobber shield, which is probably what should happen this time. But I'm hoping to be able to out heal them. Oh, I can hear a smasher already. That's not cool. Where is he though? All right. So this side's taking most of the hits. The banner's still in there, so we're good. Oh, do you know what? Wall-wise, we can go metal now if we need to. In fact, no. Do you know what? Let's think quick. Let's think bricks. Oh, he's here. Look, this is where Smasheru is. So we can actually take him. So we're actually getting lobbers, you know, throwing onto there. We've got propane coming in. And the wall's nearly back up to full. He's actually going to struggle. Hopefully, the traps are going to push him away. Hopefully. Yeah, there he goes. Look. <laughs> Smasher dispatched. So this wall's okay. Now we've got another one coming in from somewhere. Where is it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's here. I wonder if he's back. Is this the same one? So this guy could get through. We haven't got propane or anything. Oh my god. This is this is taking some seriousness. And he's gone again, look. Push back. So that's going to give this wall time to heal up. I'm just going to hit that repair there. What's it on? Oh, it needs to repair a lot faster. Because the lobbers are actually going to do us. Oh, we've got, a, we've got one here. All right, he's fine, he's fine. This wall's what's worrying me. 
So when you're back up to 4,000, he can take you down to two, which means he's putting about 5,000 damage in there. Oh, it's fine. There you go. So he's putting about 5,000 damage each time he gets there before he actually gets knocked back. This wall's fine. It's all on this side. Oh, it's down to three. Oh, look, there's another one. I think we've got double smashes there. Okay, let's just put that up. Okay, that's not good. This is where we could probably do with... <laughs> Something bigger. Here we go. All right. Okay. 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 It's all right getting one smashy down, but two. Oh, it's really hard to melt with this. Stop hitting the same wall out. I've got to keep putting it up just in case. Maybe the bundle boss will do me better on that. Come on. Come on. Go. Duh. All right. That's fine. I think we're all okay everywhere else. <laughs> so we just had double smashes coming through. That was what that one was. And I've looked... Oh, damn it. I've only got six... Uh, I've only actually got six metal left. That's because we kept rebuilding the wall. Bad move by us. Okay, that's fine. Well, we've only got all that for 40 seconds. And I think what we're going to have to do next time is build that up in brick, which would have made more sense. Because now we've got a wall that's only got a health of 2,000, which is dumb when most of the walls have got nearly 8,000. All right, that's fine though, that's fine. How are these all holding up? These are great. Smasher. <laughs> yeah, about him. Hello. <laughs> you know what, just why not? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> See you, <ya>, guy. <laughs> okay, I think we've done this. So three, two, one. All right, there we go. And that was the PL100. Which means now we've got to take on the four-player PL100 in a couple of days. Oh! <laughs> I knew she could do that. I was determined to get that one done. All right, then, guys. So almost worth it. 129 gold, 20 storm shards, 210,000 survivor XP. Always useful. Another 100 gold. Just getting gold thrown at us lately. 36 pure drops. Always need those, especially lately. Always run out of those. So just to quickly run down that again with you guys then, I'll just I'll just skim through them. So you've got power modulation, which is her main skill, which means the base heals itself. You've got shake it off, which means the duration of elemental status effects are reduced by 50%. You've got lofty architecture, frozen castle, hot fix in there as well. You've got tough traps and base empty. So I'm going to say super easy, but it wasn't. <laughs> Do you know what? That was a massive overbuild. You can actually cheese these objectives much much easier if you just build a box and just build the little slants around the edges then you can do most pl 100s but the next time the next challenge that we've got is we're going to do this on a four player as well so we're going to do a box ourselves in and try to do a little hide and seek base and four player at this time but guys let me know what you think in the comments down below if you're not part of the latana army already make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you are one of the troops make sure you hit a like and i will catch you on the next one thanks for watching guys